This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash AwesomeCast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Hey everyone, it's time to talk tech, get geeky. It is the Awesome Cast, episode 337. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here, on the main, on the seat in the in the studio. Yes, in the Mayhem Studio here in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to get geeky, geeky, get geeky with all of you. Coming at us from Studio C on a ancient, ancient piece of computer technology that we've been talking about on the Awesome Cast Gold is John Chichilla, gadget guru over at Big Bank International Incorporated. Hey, how's it going today? Good, good. Uh, he's a little fuzzy. You know, you wouldn't know it, but he's on a 4K webcam. <laughs> <laughs> but but we we can't we can't show you that <laughs> with our setup right now you because in the future chilla is broadcasting at this high resolution current mayhem studio cannot receive such signals no but so there is there is the limit it looks like with hangout that hangout will that not too? do above 720 there's that too there's that too but if, if you were you were broadcasting 4k to to this studio we probably wouldn't also be broadcasting anything <laughs> the other way. Um, so compress, okay? Yeah, yeah. Or I, I don't even think my my best computer can probably process 4K at this point. So, um, and not to mention that when we do stream this out, we're at 720p anyway. So is that what is that what Facebook does? 720p? No, that's what I ch- I send to Facebook. That's what, what I, is, I, I choose. Will Facebook even take more. I think they will take more. I think they will take at least a 1080. We have done a 1080 stream, I believe, from the Work Hard Pittsburgh streams. So, I mean, it's it's doable. And I don't know if they'll do up to 4K. But uh, it's not advisable in most cases. So, you know. Um, so, either way, you are future-proofed for when we get there at some point. Right, Chilla? So. Yes. Also with us, we got some uh, peeps on the couch. Katie Dudas. At K Dudders on the tour, I love how much space you guys gave each other over there. Like, <laughs> so nice. do this. Yeah. Oh, wait, you need for the, that, and then you need the this. arm length. And wait, then, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh that, was good. Lude, that was good. I didn't even look go. at that one. There we go. I didn't even look there at that one. There is Lude pointing awesome. to somebody's crotch on the poster behind them. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you guys are on the video, leave room for the crotch. Right. Katie, of course, the social media guru over at the Scarehouse. Hello. They can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just Hi. visualized the the meme today about when you want to be a pretty. They want you to be a pretty princess, but you're uh, metal as f. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I that, love that one. That's amazing. Yes. So, uh, and also on the couch, the Riz wow. joined us. Hi. We dared him to show up early. He He's going to be on the Wrestling Mayhem he did show. Dare me to show and up he early. He did, and he, I prove to you sorg that i can if the weather's nice and and got here before the hosts of the show yes <laughs> yes he's the coolest so, i am the best riz of course uh contributor to the wrestling mayhem show as well as riz plays games mm-hmm. a uh, video game streaming uh, uh account out mm-hmm. there you've been doing the some Twitches, fun stuff with that YouTube. on the twitch Twitches. as well Twitches. Twitches. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he he's my go-to guy for 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 video game streaming yeah. and we're gonna have to have a conversation about how we're gonna hook up some video games to this setup at some point here uh in the, in the near future so and so also take my advice i am yeah. i am because you, you have more experience at this than i do you are the expert ah. <laughs> Too much pressure, Sorg. <laughs> Too much pressure. So much. We'll see. We'll see. And then producer Missy's out there with her minion cup uh, <laughs> helping out as well and uh, uh, keeping an eye on the tweets. Oh, no. And we gave, yeah, 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 yeah we, gave, we gave Katie something that makes noise. So, <laughs> because that was the best thing to do. It's a what is it? it's a it's a little stormtrooper guy that mm-hmm. that spits out candy and makes noise. Yep, perfect. It's everything I wanted. Dreaming. Which was strangely <laughs> in the Valentine's discount rack, uh, but uh, it worked out well. Uh, but anyways, 
He says it's wrestling. Or no, this is the wrong no, show. Uh, this is the Awesome Cast. You can check us out at awesomecast.net. You can uh, hit us up, Awesome Cast, on the Twitter. <laughs> Subscribe to us and rate us at YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Facebook, uh, video and audio versions across a whole bunch of those. And of course, you can join us here live every Tuesday at live.awesomecast.net around 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're also streaming, uh, replay streaming over at riversedgepgh.com. Uh, I believe currently 8 a.m. after Funny Money, but look out for a change to the uh the schedule there too uh you can also support the show as our good friends do uh patreon.com slash awesome cast uh good friends of course at the coffee club five dollar level he gets the awesome cast gold where we kind of really really geek out usually about what problems we're having in the studio uh so far we'll, we'll have some ex- more extra content and the uh, uh state of the show uh matt weller uh matt one t underscore weller on the twitter thank you so much at the coffee club level and also thank you to i believe our longest patreon supporter michael fedor uh mike fedor show on the twitter as well uh you can pick any of those there's a lot of options to support the show and maybe even become part of the show through that and uh and uh yeah Go check that out. And also, please, you don't have to contribute that way. You can just share the show, tell your friends about it, and and help us out that way as well. So let's get into our awesome things of the week. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading some of these. Um, Katie, what's your awesome thing of the week? Hi. Uh, so we all love Giphy. We, I love GIFs and using you, GIFs. You live on Giphy. I do. I have conversations with people and in my life, just GIFs. It's, it's amazing. We actually exchange words on, um, and we text back and forth. But um, Giphy is one of my favorite places to get GIFs, and they just introduced this whole line. It's about 2,000 words and phrases in American Sign Language. And there's a gentleman, let me find his name, uh, Sign with Robert, and uh, Robert has been um, deaf since birth. And what it is, it's great. Giphy's great for the um, learning sign language because it's just the repetitive movement. It's, it's you know, GIF is only a few seconds long and it's re- movement over and over again. And at the bottom of the screen, they'll tell you, you know, so that the word on the side. So it's very, very simple. Red background. He's speaking and you see food and then you see him making the sign over and over again. So you can practice and you can watch and mimic. So it's really, really cool, I thought. And there's there's ones with green backgrounds for different kinds of things going on, like the cat and the dog. And, um, but yeah, it's perfect for vi- visually engaging language, well expressed in gift form. Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. And say avocado. Ooh, wait. Ooh. Hold on. There it is. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> you guys are on the video. We got some, they're a little tiny, but. Bachelorette party. <laughs> wait, really? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you can learn all kinds wait, of things. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, it gets fun when you get down to ox. And grouchy. And grouchy. Ox, ox makes, ox looks like it should be some kind of devil. A little ox. bit. Yeah. Ox. Very intense. <laughs> it's just like it's a very intense ox. Dizzy. Oh, wow, these are pretty good. Yeah. I like these. These they're very well done. Very, very easy, basic. Like you could you can be great on mobile or um wherever you're looking at your mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah, I like these. Is this an old article? Because the next thing is is Google Glass app could help wearers learn sign language. Ooh, <laughs> what is I'm gonna this? watch this video. Here's a throwback for Chilla, I guess. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this article's new. It's what is it, a couple wow. of days, five days ago. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to watch this video about Google Glass. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 uh, what, what in particular do, do I just search sign language when I'm in Giphy uh, in one of the? I, I think ASL, and then, like I said, it is. I just lost his name again. Uh, signing with Robert. Sign with Robert. Sign with Robert, and and they'll pop up in the search. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Go check it out. Great, Chilla. What is your awesome thing of the week? <laughs> so, uh, I don't. Uh, a lot of people will start getting uh, Android Nougat because for the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, um, Nougat's been released on T-Mobile, AT&T, and Sprint. Um, hey. T-Mobile and AT&T were released over the weekend on Saturday. Hey, and the rollback, uh, rollback, that's Android 7.0, and that's the latest version, right? Then that's the latest. Well, they're going with 7.0, I think. Google's now on like 7.0.2 or 7.1 is right around the corner. I think 7.1's in beta. Mm -hmm. Um, But when you think about how many people we knew that got the new Galaxy S7 device, Mm -hmm. um, think of how many people then are getting this update. Like I said, you'll notice one major carrier left off that list. Sorry, Crazy Krause. Mm -hmm. Um, Verizon has not rolled theirs out yet. 
Um, it is a 1.2 gig download, and I would say once you get that 1.2 gig, you're probably looking at a good 20, 25 minute update process wow. of, of not being able to, like that's after the progress bar goes away and the device reboots and goes into update mode where you can't use the device. Um, but, but it is out there. I, I have been playing around with it most of the day. Um, not, nothing hugely different other than kind of the swipe down panel. I do really like the grouped notifications. And then also, um, they changed around the settings menu. So just when I started getting comfortable with where to find, you know, in-depth Bluetooth settings or in-depth app settings, um, they kind of switched around where some of that's at. I will say that battery life does seem, and one of the things I heard about Nougat was that their apps will tend to go to sleep, kind of like an, an iOS device. Um, I have noticed <clears throat> my battery life throughout the day was a little bit better. I always like to give it a couple of days because a lot of times there's optimization tasks that run in the background for the first 24 or 48 hours. But right off the bat, I'm probably about 15% higher on battery life um, than I was. Um, so I, so far so good. I'm looking for more updates in the future. But, but if you have any of those devices, and I've heard they're also rolling it out for some of the LG devices. So I think over the next few weeks, we're going to see a lot more nougat in the, in the general population. I think the perfect one to, to toss us to is Riz because uh, Riz is a, a recent convert from specifically the Samsung line to that iPhone. Mm-hmm. Do, do you miss the late <laughs> updates? Not really. No. No. <laughs> no. No. Do you miss anything? I don't miss anything. <laughs> I don't. Well content in your iPhone. Yes. I am uh, content. Um, so my awesome thing of the week is something really, really revolutionary. All right. It's uh something that 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 I think I think my wife is gonna enjoy more than I ha- I will. Because uh, McDonald's has re engineered drinking straws. Look at that thing. Uh, so this is this is actually something that came up. Um, and yes, the acronym is STRAW, by the way. And a, a completely a suction tube for reverse axial withdrawal. So STRAW. And it came with a video about creating the STRAW. That is um, definitely lampooning a little bit the, um, the uh, Apple creator videos and design videos i think the guy even has a fake british accent and they might even call it out in his title in his lower third um but the, the not only is this uh, you know obviously you know some kind of promotion for for sham sh- shamrock shakes and everything like that but they they actually in limited quantities are going to be giving these out at some of the mcdonald's so it's kind of like what they did with the um uh the the sauce, the Big Mac sauce. sauce. Yeah, 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 the, the, the Big Mac, Big Mac sauce was a big, big thing. Um, it looks crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It, Go ahead. So, so, the, so they're giving this out at certain locations. Is there a way to actually buy one? I don't think so. Um, but they said, uh, well, as of this article, it, it was saying, um, you know, McDonald's.com in the next two weeks to learn uh, where to find them. And this article is from the 15th, so it, it should be coming up here in the ne- next couple of weeks. Probably as it gets a little closer to um, Shamrock Day. Shamrock Day. <laughs> what do you call it? St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I just know it as the holiday that I know I'm going to get Sam- Shamrock Shakes uh, pickup orders well, from my, from out, my uh, wife. When I, when I drove by the McDonald's the other day, they had the sign up. Shamrock shakes are out. You oh, no, that's, yeah, they've yeah. been out for a couple weeks. Yes, they've been <laughs> already. I, ca- I I do kind of want to try one of their mixed ones. Um, but uh, yeah. I'm interested in this. So I'm guessing you have to take the lid off your shake to get the straw in there. <laughs> yeah, there's a little <laughs> there's a little bit more to it. Do they talk about <laughs> in insertion? Order, in order to do it. What, what's that, Missy? Do- Not necessarily, because since they've redone their Mick Cafe thing, oh. it has the wider lid. At the top, oh. so it's like the domed, like yeah. slushy cup lid. Dome with a big circle. Yeah, on the top. so it might actually fit in there. Just, just my thought on it. As our our <laughs> our, our shamrock shake expert, so yes, shamrock shakeologist. Yes, yes. shamrock shakeologist. Yes, I went to school for that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Definitely. Uh, so, so look, look for the straw. It actually says in the title. It says Jeffrey, a person with, with person with. <laughs> It was a person with fake British accent. Oh, and I'm trying to find it again. Person, yeah, person with British accent. So they they had some fun with that. So the, again, McDonald's like kind of again having fun between that and 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 uh, Katie, did you follow a bit of the social media they did around the Big Mac sauce? I know Doug was was really into that. Yeah, he was bummed. He didn't get one. He mm. said people were camping out the night before for it. <laughs> wow, which yeah. is amazing to me to, that somebody would. And read. there was like one location over in like East Liberty, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So. That was it in our area. But, yeah, but they were using, what, they were using, like, Facebook Live? They are using a bunch of, like, Snapchat? What? Yeah, it was yeah. on Snapchat, too. So it was all over the place. And it's, it's I, I think McDonald's kind of, it's something we all know is there. And then they do something crazy like this or, like, the, the giveaway. And then suddenly they're right back in our, our oh, yeah, I forgot. It. I really like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, like, or, hey, McDonald's is there. Um, but, but, you know, definitely a company that is big enough they don't have to, excite, you know, get out there. But. I don't know. That's hey, cool. I look at it, at least they're getting in the media for something positive versus mm-hmm. yeah. like exploding phones or, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, come on, it could be worse. <laughs> so no, I, I, I have to admit my, one of my friends in the chat, uh, Troy said, so wonder if the new straw gives better blo- bubble blowing capabilities in the shamrock shake. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I had the same thought. <laughs> yes. Awesome. So it'll be experiment. We'll have to get shakes in the new straw and, you know, mm-hmm. oh. For mm-hmm. science. science. Science? Uh Riz, I know you yes. kinda dropped in here. I did. Um so I didn't know if you had an awesome thing of the week. I do. <gasps> I do. Uh so I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the gamer here and be like uh so You're allowed to be. The switch comes out in two weeks. Yes. Somebody already has the switch. Yes, I saw this. Um, with no so, games? With no games. <laughs> so they did a tutorial on the actual interface. Like the, the, the UD, the, I'm, I'm trying to get techie here, but like they, they tr- the, the, U, the, the UI capabilities of this machine. So that's all they showed the entire video. And uh, it, it's, I mean, I'm jealous of this guy, but <laughs> I'm also kind of happy that he got it. Without any games, because <laughs> it's it's it, he's not playing before you did exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, I was reading something today where people. I, I guess there's a way to reserve your like gamer tag. Yes, you can now mm-hmm. reserve your uh, Nintendo Switch identification that we now have to use. So, so of- if you already have an account from Mitomo or mm-hmm. or Super Mario Run. Nope. Well, no, 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 no. Nope. Yeah, like I logged in with the network ID. Mm-hmm. So there's your nickname and then there's the network ID. Yes. And that's not filled in yet. So I had to go in and fill in that, even though it's yes. the same as my nickname. So again, Nintendo being awesome about their online stuff, you know, there was this weird. Hey, they're learning, sort of. They're learning. They, they mean, <laughs> they have finally gotten to the point where they're going, you know what, we're going to have you guys pay for the I mean, actual they, service they really are at it at, 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 i mean you think about it, nintendo really is at the most detrimental position because they literally are only a video game and hardware company right that's it like versus sony and microsoft have a lot of these other components they've tried in other facets right we can right. take some of our networking and that becomes xbox live sony has has been in computers for years nintendo only focuses on their games right that's so it. so it's not I, I know everybody's like well they feel behind and this and the other thing but but they are yeah like unless they they contract in somebody to do it for them like they, they, they pretty much did as a company they have no expertise in this and and, and, it, and it has taken them 10 years to figure it out and it's going to be gigantic when they finally do figure it out yeah but then you'll get sony and microsoft when i'm big mm-hmm. yeah because they're so so they're so far they were ahead of the curve when they first launched their stuff because they mm-hmm. just had so much in the in the bank you know company-wide you know from across departments so but well, you can go get your your. I don't know the, the the stuff I read about it. Like people are really happy about the UI so far. That's good. Go, like yeah. go, go Nintendo. I mean, for... there was there was a comment in the in the Kotaku article that I read. Um, it pretty much says, "What the hell is wrong with this guy? He clicked accept without accepting the agreement, without reading the agreement." <laughs> <laughs> 
And somebody said he should play this CDI, the Legend of Zelda CDI game for the for his punishment. Yes. yes no. Exactly. No, he should not. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. So if Was you want to go, yeah, go ahead. Is there any other apps or downloadable content for the thing, or I guess it's just pretty much a uh, not. I, they didn't really specify <laughs> that in the actual rundown. I don't think. Um, I don't think uh, I'm going to say Netflix, maybe. <laughs> which would be nice, but I don't know. Like that's the it's thing. A really I, expensive Netflix device. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're gonna speak. Uh, speaking of, no, I was rolling back because we were talking about food and the other awesome thing. Mm. But anyways, before we get to that, Troy saying, <clears> "So, <throat> wonder if the new straw gives you better bubble blowing ca- capabilities in the sh- in the Shamrock Shake?" Yeah, maybe yes. Yeah, oh no, we did talk about that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep up here. I'm sorry, are you here right now? No, no. We need to reboot. Everything's you. falling apart. Unplug I'm him and plug him back. Making in. sure that I pay attention to the chat and everybody else is already. All right, then I'm going to talk about pizza. Forget that. Uh, thank you to our friends supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Our good buddies over at. Slice on Broadway, who, who uh, hey, they're getting more than just us talking about. Them. They also got cookies tonight. <laughs> So from uh, from Bite Me Bakery, uh, but they've been supporting the podcast for a good long time. They know our names. They know they know us since we're calling up and say hey, it's podcast day. Uh, but uh, supporting uh, local podcasts, uh, local pizza joints. If you don't have a slice on Broadway in your neighborhood, at least support local pizza. Please. You know, don't support the uh, the American Industrial Pizza Complex. Because they're not um, that good. Especially Slice on Broadway. Check them out here in Beachview, right along the tracks. Carnegie PA down on Main Street or over on PNC Park. Hey, there's going to be baseball at PNC Park really yes. soon, actually. Mm-hmm. Yes, there is. So I know Riz is really excited about that. Mm-hmm. You know, you're 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 a game goer down there. Sometimes, later. sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. I see you tweeting. You're, you're like, it, I, I am. I am season, an it's avid. Like, Tweeter, yes, you the are. Sports of the sport, sports ball, the stick ball, the, sti- stick the, ball. the stick ball sport that has pizza. Yes, yes. go check them out. Slice on Broadway.com, pj underscore slice on the Twitter, and let them know the awesome cast sent you. All right, we got a couple of things here. Um, somebody requested. Uh, Oh no! I just saw this new one. Um, so Pokemon updated. We yes. mentioned yes. that it was upcoming, yes. and apparently some of us have been playing. Um, although Chachi is still trying to upgrade up, upgrade his uh, his Pikachu with the Santa hat to Raichu. I, so am I, but he's a lot closer than I am. Um, so Pokemon Go was kind of my introduction to Pokemon. What? Like as far as like in in depth playing of a game, oh, I played okay. a little bit of like like yeah. uh, more recently. I I, I I pulled up an emulator, started playing like Pokemon Yellow, but um oh I was, uh, Stadium. I I, yeah. I I played a lot of Stadium actually back in the day, uh on my brother's N sixty four. That works. But uh, I'm loving that there is all these new Pokemon and I don't know any of them. I know. I don't know, I don't know anything. Any <laughs> so. I think my favorite part is the conversations we're having. Like I caught the Centret, I guess S E N T R E T. Which it turns into this the most adorable. I saw oh the fur in fur real it. life. Oh my gosh, it's cutest pe- uh, Pokemon ever. The fur. It's like half cat, half fair. Uh, but Centret, we were trying to describe. I'm like zero bunny guy, <laughs> or um, he was what fat uh, flying squirrel or Tanuki <laughs> fat flying squirrel. Like just like that guy. Like we don't know the names of them, so we're just like trying to <laughs> describe them to each other. I can't wait until Growlithe comes in. Hmm. Can't wait until Growlithe comes in. I don't even know what we're talking about. You, you guys need to look up Growlit. Growlit. But and again, this is like like you know or the, like a Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet? Wobbuffet? What Wobbuffet. is that? Like? Wobbuffet. 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 Like Boba Fett. Gotcha. Like Boba Fett. Gotcha. Or are these these like I, I I can't. <laughs> what is that thing? What is an eye palm? Look at that monkey thing. It's I haven't adorable. seen that yet. It's got a oh, I got, I got one of those on the way to work this morning. Oh no. The Wobbuffet. Oh, but is it, it's again. <sighs> Oh, you can get you can get 3D glasses. This right. I didn't see. I don't, it, I don't know. I, I'm just finding it in this article. Um, but it's definitely rejuvenated a little bit of Pokemon Go for me. Oh, we drove around Robinson like crazy the other day. Uh, we, re- and I. we we took the uh, Alpine Bar um, <laughs> up here, uh, gym. Also, turned the library into a gym um, it, since, since it I last played. Seems like they're it does seem like they're switching around some of the, some of the gyms. Mm-hmm. I've heard they're going to have trading in a mm-hmm. in a very soon. 
update where you can actually trade Pokemon. That will be devastating mm-hmm. because man. <laughs> Um, but no, it, it, it's been a lot of fun. I, I'm glad to see that they're, they're really pulling through on those updates. Um, I've been having a lot of Pokemon related conversations in my Uber and Lyft rides lately. Um, partly because we do have some, some red team stickers in there, um, <laughs> that, that kind of spark conversation. But, uh, you know, a lot of people team like Valor sword. Yeah. Team Valor. Um, a lot of people, you know, are like, Hey, yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get past the first few weeks of it just not being playable. And really, I, yeah, I think we're finally getting to like their vision of what this game is supposed to be. And it's, it, and it's pretty cool. I still haven't figured out what the new fruit is for. It's but, the, uh, if you feed the fruit to the Pokemon, you will, it will drop more candy. Oh, it's like half banana and a half berry. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's not just like to calm them down. Uh, yeah. Like it used to be. So yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, don't, don't, and, and I've been using it when it's like something that I'm close to evolving, and mm-hmm. I need a couple more pieces. It, it, I'll drop that so I can get an additional piece. Of nice candy. strategy tip. Um, but a, a, aside from that, um, wh- who somebody? So Pikachu's going to get a new party hat. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going. I'm completely going to be chasing down hatted Pikachu's again. Yes. Um, so it's it is Pokemon Go. Uh, well, it's actually uh, Pokemon Day. It's a celebration, and February twenty seventh, and handful of events in different Pokemon properties celebrate the day. And Pokemon Go, Pikachu gets a special surprise, which is a fancy hat. So excited! More fancy than the Santa Claus hat? I don't know. It sounds mm. super fancy. Party hat. So it'll have the party hat forever. So be sure to check them out. Nice. So everybody remind each other. Should I start getting rid of... Actually, I, I'm going to hold on to all my Santa hat Pikachus until they start trading. Because I bet those will go for... Do, do you know if the when you evolve the Santa hat, does it does it keep the Santa hat oh, in the evolution? Yes. It, keeps us up. it keeps it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Right, you. That's why we have so many hat. of them. Well, <laughs> so. And there's more There's more um, of the Eevee evolution mm-hmm. where you rename mm-hmm. them to something else and you can get the two new... Mm-hmm. evolutions for those for sakara and because it's tomeo so i might get something other than the six or seven or eight jolteons that i have right now no you'll be yes getting those. what's that you'll be getting those more sorry. i'll still be getting those more <laughs> as i try I to get the rest the, the one thing i found it interesting is they in, in a lot of the stuff i was reading they started promoting the the new clothes and whatnot like you were talking about the the 3d glasses mm-hmm you have to buy all that stuff with gold coins and typically the only way to get gold coins is to either pay money to buy them or to take over gyms for prolonged periods of time right but for probably the average person you're going to be paying out hard cash for your virtual 3d glasses uh, well you're talking <laughs> Which I, I personally have a problem with you, you're, you're talking to the guy that sat in the chipotle parking lot the other night when it was closed because i found a dragon knight because there's a uh, poke stop um on the mural over there on uh bomb boulevard uh in the in 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 the ch- in, in the chipotle and there's a dragon knight hanging out oh yeah and i, I completely exactly was out of pokeballs sword. so i completely dropped a dollar to get 20 pokeballs to hopefully catch this 500 and some XP <laughs> Dragonite because I've never seen a Dragonite before. So, yeah, that happened. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably pay a dollar to get sweet 3D glasses, <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, and, and again, it, it, it's it's one of those, like, they deserve my money at this point because I play this all the freaking time. All the time. Yeah. Like, li- all, all the time. It seems so. No, yeah. I mean, you can definitely play the freemium side of things, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel cheapened. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Unless you're like, because I know you know our, our friend Bobby. He's out in pretty much the middle of nowhere. You don't get a lot of opportunities to poke stop and all this kind of stuff, right? Um, like we do. We're we're very fortunate being in a greater city suburban area that there is a lot, you know, and and uh, to go to the nearest cemetery, guys. <laughs> um, but but uh, but. But no, it, it, it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like, like, oh, God, I got to give him my It's like, no, I want to give you a dollar right now because I want to do this thing, you know. Well, and the other thing but, I know that you've been talking about, Sorg, is you're excited about your business trips lately because you're going to different cities where there are mm-hmm. different Pokemon. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, I, I'm looking at every trip coming up, and I'm, I'm still mad at myself for not pulling it up while I was in Thailand. 
You know, I, I can't believe I forgot that. So, uh, you know, yeah, it, no, it, it is pretty cool. It, it, again, it, 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 it's opened up traveling. It's opened up a lot of things. It's everything I wanted um, its predecessor. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. Um, the same company. Ingress. Ingress. It is everything I wanted Ingress to be was this a giant, the world is your video game kind of thing. It's just with Pokemons. So. So we've talked about Pokemon now. <laughs> um, going back to the Nintendo Switch, um, Riz. Yes. Sir. John Cena and Nintendo are showing up in unexpected places to promote the Switch. Of course have they you, are. Have you seen this? I have not. Okay. This was actually shared from uh, another Mayhemer uh, mm-hmm. listener, um, um, Brian. I'm sorry, Brandon. Um, and uh, so, so they're apparently doing odd things like you're in the middle of a desert and there's a couch and a TV and you can go play. Yes. Um, John Cena is going to be hanging out in Santa in Clarita, uh, the, the place with the zombies and the place where I'm actually going in about a month and a half. Um, Maybe you get to play with this. I, I think it'll be too late. John Cena will be long gone, and, but hopefully the zombies will be. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, I actually stayed there last year. Nice place. A very like overly nice place uh but yeah no he's gonna be uh hanging out uh in, in santa clarita california here uh on march 3rd no it launches on march 3rd um and you can play uh you can play switch with him on february february 23rd at blue cloud movie ranch Ooh. um so weird that i i was surprised john cena got thrown in on this and uh, uh i'm not no you're not no because it's it's first it's a new system and also they're they are promoting third party technology. They're mm. thir- part, the third party brands. Okay. So 2K Sports is a third party. There's probably going to be so a 2K game on, on there Wii is. this year. There is. Oh, it's already there announced. Is. Okay. Uh, uh, NBA 2K is on Switch. Okay. It's going to be on the Switch. Uh, so they already have the 2K brand mm-hmm. in that area. So, of course, they're going to have John Cena, one of uh, the poster boy for the World Wrestling Entertainment to promote the system as this is how you get people into the door that says, Hey, I'm I'm kind of on the fence of going to switch and not to switch. Mm -hmm. So it's a great promoting, promoting tool for that. It's great. I mean, how does he promote something when you can't see him? Oh, that's a wrestling joke for everybody out there. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. only, Only a select few got that joke. So only, only only the crossover audience got that one. Um, I amuse myself. That's all that matters. Yes, you did. All right. So I'm always interested in new ways of using drones, um, particularly the ones that were like, wasn't that was what was the one they were doing in Japan where they were using a net to catch drones that were that were flying where they shouldn't have. Well, this one was shared by uh, Andy Quayle Techberg on the Facebook um that the, the, we shared over. Um, a power company sends fire spewing drones. To to burn trash off high voltage wires. That, that, that is amazing. I love it's it. like a Dalek with that that little flamethrower thing going that on there. Seems dangerous. It seems. Is this a great idea? I mean, I guess I guess the lines won't catch on fire. Is the whole idea? But uh, but they, but they basically weaponized drones. Well, it was only were, a matter of time. They, now, they were already weaponized. Well, oh, that is true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's amazing. He's got a little remote control. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got the little remote control. It's like playing a video game. Uh, this, of course, is in China. Of course. So we know China has the fire drones. Now. Uh, yeah, the fire drones now. Um, but uh, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's uh, taken over for uh, debris that gets caught in places that are hard to reach with a human in a cherry picker usually so um i gotta say it's probably a lot safer um there's i'm sorry there's a uh, off paragraph in the middle of this some reports indicate that terrorist groups such as isis are trying to figure out how to deliver chemical weapons via drone uh, that was just a matter of time too um so there you go i'm holding back comment on that one uh but uh there you go some interesting ways to use the drone um from there, and then we had one note from from Amanda. Did she did she share this in the group or something? Yeah, it was on the okay, it was on the group. Um, she said, "I just think Facebook advertising is is realizing it work for Apple and like tech stuff because she got it." And we've talked about this on on the show a good bit. The Jibo robot. 
And it, has this thing come out? The, 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 no, um, it's, it, there's a wait list. There's still a wait yeah. list. Like I, I, like I think this is the thing that it, it was the one with like kind of the weird, like kind of half. You know, the eye, this, uh, yeah, one, uh, the, yeah, the eye of Sauron, uh, Wait, the this, mini this eye of Sauron that you can get for your home. Um, so I love you. Leave your husband for me. <laughs> what is this? Like, I just want to caption some of these photos. Like, if you stro- scroll down, there's oh, a woman the in a blue shirt, and oh, it, it, the Jibo is looking adoringly at the woman and like. Leave your husband. I'll kill him, and we could be together. Wait, 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 where's this one at? <laughs> just it's down on the left hand side. There, yeah, there it is. is. Oh, you pass them. You pass it. This one it's, here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jibo's like, I'll destroy him for you. We could be together for <laughs> always. <laughs> like I just wanted to shoot lasers. <laughs> We're flamed. <gasps> Jibo could shoot fire. <laughs> oh, weaponized Jibo. But there is one, I and mean, I keep forgetting the name of it. But I know we, we talked about it before. Twig Twig has been advertising one. So like. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Maybe it's the year that, mm-hmm. that people get robots in their homes. So meet Jibo, your new robotic roommate that doesn't pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't kill you. Most likely won't <laughs> kill you. Uh, this is a great one, Missy put in here, um, and I think Katie, you're gonna enjoy this as well. Yes. Uh, Darth Vader <laughs> yes. humorously uh, reimagined with a daily routine like the rest of us. No. These pictures, these are the he's carrying. Oh, I love these. He's oh, just these, in these a trench amazing. coat, wearing or uh, carrying groceries and and looking at at, at the receipt. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. There was one where he's. Hold on, I'm waiting for this to kind of load up and catch up here. Um, he's cooking. There's one where he's brushing his oh. teeth. Oh. There's one where he's. Uh, I had to look really close at this this book he's reading. Uh, it's not how good you are; it's how you want to be. The world's best by <laughs> in just a uh, button-up shirt. He's blowing his nose uh, <laughs> with with some tea and, and a pink bathrobe. Um, he's got the flu, sword. Does that say love? Is that say love in no, his in his? It says Luke. Oh, it says Luke in his <laughs> in his cereal. <laughs> he's very healthy. He's got an orange juice and banana. He's got a good breakfast. Sense. I think my favorite one is the absolute the one on the bottom where he's in the woods. And it's kind of uh, it's 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 got a nice filter on it where he's just got his coffee sitting in the woods. He got his uh, axe next to him. He just chops some wood, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> reflecting on life, enjoying his coffee. This it's is fantastic. Amazing. This is That's over. going to be a desktop like <laughs> background soon. <laughs> this is over at mymodernmet.com. Um, which wow, there you go. Um, I love it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely love it. Um, other than that, uh, Katie. I see you wanted to one up last week's awesome thing of the yeah, week. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you have all the porn talk. <laughs> it's not fair. All right, so it's Turpon. Turpon, um, it's making a new VR uh, 3D webcam just for live streaming porn. Uh, hmm. They like some of the reasons they've it's 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 very there's a lot of interesting things in this article, which is the reason I brought it up. Uh, one, the camera looks like kind of a face. It's got the two eyes almost and a little rounded face, so the performers feel more comfortable. Um, doing their thing in front of the camera so they have an audience uh two it's a rental system because the amount of yeah which which <laughs> creep me out at first whenever gross. i I'm hear done. porn and rental oh. it's yeah but most cam girls are living in countries where making three to five hundred dollars a month is a good revenue like romania colombia where most of the providers of live web webcam adult entertainment um, they can only afford a rental system. So it's very interesting, but they did give away a thousand of its beta edition cameras to influential performers. So we missed out on that, which I'm sad about. Mm-hmm. But, um, Sorry, Riz. I know. Dang it. Dang it. But uh, so the, the conversation around this, why they've stepped into this world was because there's, you can essentially get porn anywhere online. You just Google anything and it's free. What are people willing to pay for in the porn world in its VR and 3D content? So that's why they've kind of pushed into this world and kind of put, they're trying to little revolutionize it with a 3K resolution. And there's a 4K resolution too. There's two different cameras. So it's a very good quality. Uh, 200 degree field of view and streams 2D or 3D, plug and play in USB. So it, it's very easy to use. But it, it, it's very, I, I like, I like, I like, this is very interesting technology. As always, as we get out of the adult world. <laughs> it's interesting because the camera reminds me kind of of the head of Jibo. Yeah, yeah it, does a bit. <laughs> it absolutely does. Oh my gosh! But yeah, so it's it's we're seeing a lot more of these companies. Uh, even uh, Nikon and Samsung and Lenovo, they said, are getting into the adult industry, entertainment industry, creating webcams for virtual reality era because it, it's big money. Awesome. But yes, I had to one up your porn talk. 
couldn't be. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder how far we are from when you look at some of the cameras, like the Android, or I'm sorry, the phones, the Android Tango hardware, mm-hmm. like the phones with the dual cameras that can do depth and 3D. I wonder how far we are from the the camera technology being embedded right into a phone that you just take your phone, throw it up on a tripod, mm-hmm. and it, and it's ready to do VR okay quality video yeah yeah we're probably a few years because i mean you got you got to do very particular things with the lenses you know i mean it, you kind of need the bigger wider angle kind of stuff but isn't but isn't that what the project tango is all about it's about 3d mapping rooms and and whatnot with the multi-camera on the back that's true that's true so i but again i mean that's so uh, we haven't seen it yet have we or no there's one phone that came out there's a, there was a lenovo phone that mm-hmm. came out. Well, you, the, you know what? Phone. Speaking of phones, and we're talking, about, you know, why don't we go forward in time so far <laughs> that the Nokia 3310 is our our next phone? <laughs> so they were legitimately re-releasing the 30 31 or 3310. And this is one of those candy bar phones from back in the day, you know, perfect for playing Snake. Um, and uh, I know a couple wrestling promoters that this is just perfect for, mm-hmm. and they've been waiting for this. Uh, so, uh, you know, or, or maybe all those tech hipsters out there that have been uh, rejecting social media. Or you can go really old school and you can do Twitter via text message like the good old days. Like data, re- <laughs> data will, re- will be cost. Full sword, little full full data. Yes, yes. you have. A, I don't think there's even a web a web mobile browser on this thing. So, but is it? But when you look at the price of it, is it worth sixty three dollars? I mean, you're you're forty bucks shy of a cheap Android device. Yes, you are, <laughs> but without the security issues, it doesn't even have a camera, right? Nope. So this nope. this this would be this is the kind of thing you would end up. When you like the, would replace like what the BlackBerry was for governments and, and a little bit, except we, except if, and also if like legitimately like I'm worried about security with a phone yeah. and this device that has a camera and this and this mm-hmm. and this, this is your answer. Yeah, right. You work for a big corporation like a, where you have to leave your phone at the door. <laughs> yeah, like. yeah, like a, a government work or whatever it is that 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 you can't, but you would want to be connected. Yeah, it's a big issue. So. Um, and versus, you know, you mentioned this is what, like a couple dollars short of getting an Android phone. Mm-hmm. How secure is that Android phone? Right. How yeah, old, how old is the OS on that, on that Android phone that probably has a gaping wide security hole that won't get patched? So, um, I, it, it was interesting. Chilla, let's go back to the future. Where you? Where we're going, we don't need future. Where you? What? <laughs> where, where, where you're going? Apparently, you don't need wires from the looks of things. <clears throat> so, so, so you're looking at the uh, the here one. Yeah. So, the so, RE. and you, and I want because this is a thread that you've been talking about a bit about how AirPods are kind of moving forward technology for like wireless uh, headphone tech. Yeah, I think there were there were, uh, and I'm gonna botch the the pronunciation, but like. It was a Brongi or Brongi. They they came out with a with a pair of two single dev- wireless devices that you put one in each ear. Um, the Here One I thought was interesting because not only are they truly wireless, one in each ear, no wire in between them. <clears throat> they have some built in ability to allow you to kind of set up like an equalizer and levels. So you can do things like push down background noise in a in a um, in a restaurant, and you can actually have it pass through the surrounding audio. Hmm. So if there's if there's if you're if you're in an office building that's empty and there's ambient white noise, you can kind of uh, tune that out. Um, you wow. can also kind of play around with um, yeah. they call it live remix. Obviously, there's a bit of delay of what's coming into your ear, which was one of the the things that they kind of complained complained about. Was is if you if it picks up you talking, you're kind of hearing yourself echo in the background. But if you're walking around the city, you could actually have it filter out some of the ambient noise 
while you're listening to your music, but maybe still have it pick up on car beeps, stuff like that. Um, so you're, so you're aware if you're walking out in a traffic or whatnot. Um, I th- like I said, I, I, I don't, I'm not saying that the technology is perfect. Cause like I said, there, there were some complaints about, you know, echo effect or if you're, if you're altering the way that sounds coming in, is it really as good as the, or if you're filtering sound, right. Is it really as good as the, the original or, or whatever you're trying to listen to, or is it just like this, the in- Instagram filter, for certain things, but I really like what they're doing as far as pushing the technology forward. Um, they did make a comment about the the Bluetooth signal being a little weak as compared to the Apple iPods. If, if the phone was in his back pocket, it, it would tend to drop. Um, and he said he didn't have some of those issues with the AirPods, but I like what the competition's doing uh, to drive all of the technology as a whole forward. So it's, I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing. You know, I'm looking at these pictures in this review. Like, I love that it's like this, this, like, like that little, the little case it comes in, which I imagine is like a charger, kind of like the EarPod one, right? Mm-hmm. And, and where it, it looks like the thing that you get handed, you know, uh, here, here are your cufflinks, Mister Bond. Um, you know, kind of idea. You know, it, it, it's pretty cool that they're they're getting this tiny. And, well, and when when you think about some of like the VR headsets, like the like the ones from Samsung. You don't want to have to put this big headpiece on and then put a huge set of like cans on your ears and then you're gonna to have to have a controller too. I mean when when you start to downsize some of these things, these add-ons, I think it, it makes other experiences much better. Awesome. The, the one interesting thing too he was talking about, I think you was saying, you know, it would be cool to be at a at a basketball or a sporting event and hearing what's going on around you, but having it bring in additional stats or information or whatnot. So I thought that was a pretty cool way too of something they were thinking about doing with it. Awesome. So, uh, check it out. And, uh, what, what was the name of it again? It is the, is it here one? Yeah. Here one is the name of the, the headphones. And this is something I'm, I'm weary on the wireless technology. And again, it looks like it's coming across pretty good. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't use it for monitoring. It seems like more of a, a recreational use at this point. So, um, but look out for that. So I found an interesting portable house. <laughs> portable house? <laughs> yes. This is, this is actually from the same site that my, my, my modern met. Um, it is a solar powered pod that allows you to live anywhere and it's now for sale. So it looks like an egg, first of all, and I say it's solar powered. It's a, it's kind of a shelter concept, um, that they, that's coming, come to fruition. Um, I love the idea and I love the pictures that they have here where they put it on like the side of a mountain (laughs) in these images. Um, but I'm, I'm like imagining it's very spacious. They say on the inside, um, I love, I love camper camping, like kind of grew up around it a little bit. Um, and, and I love the idea that you just drop this thing somewhere and you can kind of, kind of live in this for a little bit. I don't know if this is something that you can like drive somewhere and drop off because it says that these need to be um, placed by crane or helicopter. So Simple. I don't know the accessibility of the, something like this, but do, I love the we, idea. So are, do, are we accessible to a helicopter? I, yeah, no, well, that is of the many things that, that we, in our budget. I don't Zork think copter. our Patreon oh. has. <laughs> <laughs> If, if, if you pledge, if you pledge at the eighty six thousand dollar level, yes. yes, you get to rent Sword a chiller for a week. Echo cap- <laughs> Sword will broadcast from an echo capsule. Listen, I just watched Lego Batman and the sixties uh, cartoon revamp of, of Batman, and I'm all about the sword copter idea now. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe even a Sorg sub. I don't know. This no, reminds me. Can, can you go back to that picture, Sorg? Uh, the, okay. uh, yep. Go ahead. Any of the pictures. Okay. This, I, I'm going to alienate some more people here. Okay. This <laughs> looks like. <laughs> That's our job. This this looks like a. Uh, it's a Pokeball and a, and a it, Wild Riz appears. That, but it looks like a uh, 
if you ever watch Dragon Ball Z, okay, okay, it looks like the <laughs> spaceship that Vegeta came down on. The capsule? No, the ca- was it? Oh no, 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 no yeah, I know what you're Vegeta. talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like, it looks like just the capsule that he comes down on. I, I that's what I pictured. Wait, is there a bathroom in there? Of course. Yeah. I don't. Well, think why there, wouldn't there be? Sure, there is. You're in the middle of the woods. Why do you need a yeah. bathroom? Yeah. It's true. You don't really need one, I guess, but. <laughs> Kitchen, the yeah. There's it a takes, water, wireless toilet, convertible stuff. sofa that folds into a double bed, desk space, electronic hookups. Uh, the uh, fully charged uh, 10 kilowatt battery will last for at least four days um, at 2.2 kilowatts per per day usage. All right, all right. Yeah, it's only eighty six thousand dollars. You're 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 gonna go. So so the one thing I imagined was was seeing this thing like like something like the gathering of the juggalos instead of tents. You just see this in a field, you know. And you know, one of those like music festivals when everybody's camping out. No, no, I don't. I, 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 I'm, I, I like your, I, I like the group, but I don't think that's their crowd. Sort. They end up getting rolled down the hill. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> never <have>. mind. <laughs> this doesn't work at all. So, um, it's the eco capsule. I don't think I even said the name of this thing. Yeah, it's the eco ca- capsule. If you want to look it up, developed by Nice, or you want to buy us one. Nice Architects Mm -hmm. is the name of the company. Oh my gosh, we'll travel around and we'll shoot, we'll do like a reality show. Well, we were talking at one point about doing, I'm I'm sorry, we were talking at one point when we were thinking about ways to go with Awesome Cast about doing a, like travel around the the United States and see what sort of things we could talk about Mm tech-wise. This this would make that possible. Oh, I want to do, I really want to do a podcast in a camper across country thing like that so do, do you have an amazon wish list on here <laughs> <laughs> i think we can put that on there now. wait does, I think we, can we get that on amazon the camper or the eco capsule yes i don't i don't know amazon. um well, there you go well on that note we're all checking that out now. <laughs> everybody's looking into it yes. on that note uh missy what events are coming up what events are coming up well we've got uh we just did a really awesome evening with PodCamp with our with how musicians are using social media. So that's shared over on the PodCamp page. And I'm talking about that in retrospect now because it was that amazing. Like the discussion was just, it was awesome to, to listen how they were talking about some different things and what they're using. And it's all free resources, social media wise. With that said, I've now had an opportunity to scroll down to where the events are in our um, in our doc. A little bit of I mean, <laughs> some some names I know will pop to some of our audience. Uh, one was one of the original hype men for for Mac Miller, and he got signed just because he tweeted he tweeted something saying he wanted it signed by a label, and he had enough yeah. he had enough kind of mm-hmm. kind of going for him that he got to talk to the label. Yeah. Um, another guy that was on was just signed. Uh, so it was a really good, uh, you know, a lot of people that were new to me, I know. Um, but it was, it was a really, really fun panel led by our friend Brian, um, over at, uh, River's Edge. And again, the video for that is on the PodCamp Pittsburgh YouTube and Facebook. We did a live stream of Facebook there, um, last Thursday for that. If you want to go check that out over yes. there. Uh, and as far as upcoming events are concerned, we have the Sorgatron Media Coffee where we get together and we chat about tech and projects and just random fun stuff uh just just an open coffee for anybody that's interested riz gives hugs riz does give mm-hmm. hugs um that is coming up on the 26th for like five bucks can that be your new website riz oh. gives hugs we're, we're gonna work on this riz <laughs> gonna be good. and we've also got the okay, pod 10 <laughs> pod camp boot ten. camp blogging with squarespace coming up on uh march 15th and that's going to be over here at the carnegie library here in beachview um we have some other events coming up in April that we're working on, so we'll have some more information about that. And if you have any events that you'd like us to to mention or talk about, hit us up and let us know. Um, and also check out, whether if you're interested in, in some kind of startup ideas, the um, um, startup weekend kind of concept uh, was, was kind of had an interesting uh, uh, side thing this weekend, the, the uh, Social Justice Innovation Weekend. Um, a good a good discussion uh, Monday night last night um, with uh, uh, Bill Peduto talking about innovation in the area. He was a guest guest judge for it. Um, it was uh, you know kind of uh, socially minded um, startup companies or nonprofits or whatever they might be. Um, really good um, um, look look to that. Actually, friend of the show Kalani, um, who we talked to about um, um, Academy Pittsburgh, uh, won third place with her. 
her her idea that was about um, uh, getting kids to um, get out of their neighborhoods, basically, and 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 the trips and kind of explore the world and and outside of again city neighborhoods that that a lot don't don't get to. Um, well, the first place winner was actually um, early warning, and I've heard this concept before. Um, but it was another implementation of it. Um, early warning for uh, uh, relapse, drug relapse, you know, with our, our fitness trackers and everything that can, you know, kind of give you a little call from your sponsor or tell you to call your sponsor and stuff like that. that they're trying to in- enact in there. So take a look at that live stream of there is over at the repair, the repair, repair, the world Pittsburgh Facebook page. And you check out the initial pitches and the, in the final uh, 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 pitches and judging and see the winners and some great discussions there. Um, so uh, go, go check those out. Great speakers on the first night, too. One of the councilmen, uh, City of Pittsburgh, and uh, another gentleman that uh, uh, did a PBS documentary um, that is called, um, I think it was Making Muslim Cool or something like that. I'm probably getting that wrong. Uh, the New Muslim Cool was a PBS uh, documentary that, that he worked on. He had a really good impassioned speech there. Um, on Friday night's edition of Social uh, Innovation, Social Justice Innovation Weekend. So Repair the World, Pittsburgh, Facebook page. Go look up the video for that. And it was fun working with the uh, Work Hard Pittsburgh guys again on the live stream. So, I think that's everything. Guys, check out everything on awesomecast.net. Please, if you like this stuff, support the show. Patreon.com slash awesomecast. Get us that sword copter. Get us yes. that sword, <laughs> sword copter one day. Chilla is chillatech.net. Chilla on the Twitter is hit them up with your gadget, your gadget questions. Or comments. Or comments. Or questions. Or and you know what Riz for Riz, if yes. ten dollars a hug, that's only eight thousand six hundred dollars yes. in hugs. Or eight thousand six hundred hugs till you can get an echo capsule. So that's, Ooh, that's true. Do we include that <laughs> as a hug? No, that's Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be more expensive. You know what? How many how many are in a group? That's, that's like forty that's a good bucks. Point. <laughs> because let's negotiate. We might we might have a little discount there. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see. Get the most most bang for your hug buck. Hey. Yes. Hey, that's that's something. No, no that's something else. That's Katie's that, territory. That's... <laughs> well, <I'm> just... <laughs> <laughs> you can ask her about that. Kate Dutter's on the Twitter. Hi guys. <laughs> ask about her hug rate uh, <laughs> and social media funness and or just. Just g- gifts of cats. Yeah, I like cats. Sometimes. <laughs> or or fun facts about Abu Pon. Ab- Abba Pon. Abba Pon? There's like over three of them in town. No over, one told me Over this. three of them? Well, I found three. I didn't. I thought there was one, and then we went to the second should, one, and then the third one. I was see, like, is there more? Should, so I saw your snap, and in defiance, I responded to you on Instagram. <laughs> I didn't know. If, and that's the first time I used an at sign in the story, so I didn't know if it worked right. It did. It did. I <laughs> Like, this is awesome. So I'm sitting at Zeke's Coffee over at East Liberty. Um, and it's ridiculous weather, but that's another show. Riz. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is there anything you want to plug over there? No, I'm good. <laughs> I have a ScareHouse podcast. ScareHouse podcast. I, I, I made an appearance over there, an yeah. appearance on the audio podcast. You Thank you for having me on. Yeah, I know that guy. Yeah, so we talked about, I don't know, what did we talk about? God, uh, Wrestling, jugglers, social media. I don't know, everything. So I just geeked out with Scott for an hour. I don't know. Stuff. Yeah. So there, there's actually no scary stuff. No, nope. no. We really did not even get to. We were, we were supposed to talk about 360 video, and it yeah. didn't even get that to didn't it. Get to that part. So, so we need to have that conversation uh, sometime. Uh, Riz, Riz plays games on the Twitter, yes. YouTube, Twitch. Yes, yes, yes. And also contributor to Wrestling Mayhem Show and Indie Wrestling US. Of course. That's pretty much it, sorry. That's it? You just covered everything I do for the show here. Nothing <laughs> exciting coming up you want to mention? Uh, maybe catch up around the Indies coming up on Wednesday. There you go. Ooh, fancy. Producer Missy. Hi. Hi. Uh, she is Rebellious Flaw on the Twitter. Bite Me Bakery. Yes. Uh-huh. Podcamp Pittsburgh. Oh, there's a lot of writing on Podcamp Pittsburgh and uh, .com and SidekickMediaServices.com. Yes. Mostly about social media. Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> Good, good podcasting. Good podcast. She will, she will, she will be soon be taking over yes.com. Yes.com. Yes. Yes. Coming soon. Coming soon. 
And it's the awesome cast. Thank you so much. Thank you to our awesome chat room. I saw Wheels, Juggalo, John, Kraus, Trey, and a couple new faces like Gretchen and Troy in there. James Buckley, what's up, dude? Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Again, live.awesomecast.net or the Facebook page Tuesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, if you want to join in on the awesomeness. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to our awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.